I'm a pretty sporty person and sport means uh, a lot to me. Um, it's, I'm pretty much an outdoor sport guy and I really enjoy doing different outdoor sports in summer and winter time in all seasons. The, the day it happened uh, one year ago, it was uh, one of these epic days. It was, it was a really perfect powder day. Just on the chairlift, we, we told to each other it's one of our happiest days. It's perfect, fresh powder, blue sky. Um, friends are coming in and yeah, it was, was just uh, one of the happiest moments. And yeah, it turned into another day. I was the first uh, who started the descent and I just uh, went below uh, a little hill and I hit a, a rock underneath the, the powder snow. I, I couldn't see it. I, I was, it was a really heavy crash on, on my side and I uh, immediately saw my leg was uh, on, on the wrong side. It was twisted and then I, at that moment I didn't realize that it was that that in heavy impact and uh, such a complex fracture. Then I, I as fast as possible, uh, took out my smartphone and called uh, the Riga. So I met Mr. Matli when he came in on the emergency station as a patient. He came to us, transferred by the regional hospital in Davos, uh, where they made the primary uh, management of, of his injuries and they sent him to us because of, of the seriousness of his injuries. We had the two difficult fractures, unstable pelvic fractures, so a symphysis disruption in combination with a vertical shear type fracture, in combination with a, a multifragmentary trochanteric fracture on the same side of his femur. First of all, we had to be sure that he's not bleeding, but as he was stable, uh, not really bleeding, we could uh, treat both fractures uh, in a, immediately, so as an early total care. And we decided first to, to fix his femur fracture on a traction table, and then we, we followed treating his pelvic in injury with a plate on the symphysis using a, a stopper approach, anterior stopper approach. And as he was still stable, in a good condition, we put him in a prone position and did an open reduction and double plate fixation of his vertical sacrum fracture. Uh, fortunately, he had a very good and early recovery and a good outcome, finally. I had uh, good luck that it was only the, the leg and it wasn't the back or the, the head. And I have really good chances to, to get back on, on my legs and, and walk and do sports again. So in the, in the many courses I, I was involved as a participant and mainly as a, as a teacher, faculty. Uh, I got a very good education treating even complex fractures. So how to analyze the situation, for instance, that's very important, that you analyze it step by step, that you make your, your preoperative plan. So in, especially in this uh, case of Mr. Matley with the two difficult fractures. You really have to plan how you proceed during surgery. And I remember even very detailed single cases, and that's 20 years ago or more. Uh, so I think that's, that's the real value of these AO courses, especially Davos courses, because these are global courses and you have uh, the best uh, teachers from all over the world together there. I was walking uh for four months with the, with the sticks and, and then I started uh, walking, I uh, started uh, with the biking again and I was surprised that in July I uh, already could do mountain bike tours um, without pain. I still, I'm still in physio and, and do trainings but uh, I really look forward to go skiing and, and try it again. It's now one year after injury, he has a very good function Due to, to the fact that the surgeon who fixed his fractures uh, had a very good education using the AO principles, uh, he, I think he has a, a good function now. As I 
know how much I got from the AO, from the AO course in Davos, for instance. I'm very keen to, to teach the youngest uh, generation of surgeons as well. As I was taught by Joe Schatzke, Thomas Reardy and all the other uh, famous AO people, if I have once a fracture, I want to have a, a good surgeon and I would like to have one who is, is, uh, got his education in, in the AO courses. I was also thinking what would have happened 20 years ago or 25, 30 years ago, how would they have treated such a, an injury and would have, would have been possible to walk again? I think AO provides education that improves measurable patient outcome. Let's say in this case, uh, the outcome maybe is even higher than my expectations I had before I, I treated him. For me, this is the, one of the, the biggest progress in our society, how you can treat um, fractures like that and how fast you get uh, back into normal life. It's, for me, it's really magic.